Hello, my name is Bjorn and this is another Yeti tutorial. This time I'm going to go through how to use the uh, curves as um, guides for the hair. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to create a curve real quick that is going to guide my hair strands. So I'll just move it, move the pivot, just for visual sake. And I'm a modeler, so I'm going to model something real quick. Here we go. It's a comet. Right, so I'm, I'm placing my um, guide curve. And I, now I'm selecting it, and I'm going to create a selection set out of this. <clears throat> Which I'm going to call guide curves. And in, in case I want more, uh, multiple different curves to control the hair in different directions, uh, I will have them under the same selection set. Let's get rid of the grid and let's change the background. Here we go, so we can see what we're doing. <clears throat> and so I'm just going to import my groom real quick. And Let's just add some strands, some influence here. Right. And let's build our tree real quick, a part of it. So import the geometry and the usual notes, and then you, uh, use a guide note. That's important. <coughs> I'll get to this in a second. And uh, you can skip this step if you want. You, now I'm importing the groom, like always, but you don't need to. You can just use the guide curves without a groom. So I'm going back here. Radius of influence. And I'm going to make the hair strands longer so that we can see that they actually follow this um, this guide curve. There, a comet. Right, so that's all nice. Next step at this point is selecting your Yeti node and going to underneath uh, your groom import, you can import the selection set or guide set. So let's import it. And now, when I go back to my tree, I can create a third import node and that is going to be the guides so I'm importing the guides now and plugging that into the guides node and there we go it follows the the curve now and if I go uh, and tweak the um, the vertex on this you can see it follows that one now if I duplicate this like I said earlier if you want different multiple different guide curves you should have them in the same selection set and also select the selection set and go to custom attribute and change the amount of influences if you select the the actual guide curve uh, you can you can see under the attributes that uh, it has a yeti attributes with a lot of sliders that you can tweak to make it um, follow exactly or follow less or scatter there's a lot of uh, of things that I really think is cool and you should play around with this to get the right result, obviously. Uh, now there's only one thing left to do, uh, for me at least. Key here, key there, animation. Yes, sir. And now it's time for you to check out my blog.